Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to print checks in QuickBooks Desktop. I'll be printing the checks using QuickBooks Premier, but the process is the same for QuickBooks Pro and Enterprise. Uh, so let's start at your dashboard in QuickBooks Desktop. Uh, there's two different places that you can create checks. Um, we can create checks in the Write Checks function in our Banking section, or we can create checks by paying bills in our Vendor Center. So let's start by first creating checks from scratch. So this would be for expenses that you haven't entered a bill for. So I clicked on write expenses there. It's going to choose the bank account we want it to come from here. We'll just choose the account we call checking. Um, this puts a number in there. I like to click print later and we'll talk about that in a second. That hides the check number and then it'll assign a check number as it actually prints. Um, so choose pay to the order of we'll write it to California California telephone um, as I'm writing the check I got a little message here warning me that we have unpaid bills to this vendor so remember the way we're writing this check this is for checks where we have not entered a bill yet for the expense so this is telling us be careful are you sure you don't want to pay one of these bills rather than write a check directly. So let's pretend our payment here to California Telephone has nothing to do with these bills. So we're just going to go back, we're just going to write our check. Let's say it's for a hundred dollars. Okay, uh, now obviously we need to assign it to an expense. Uh, we'll call it, non, actually let's call it Telephone. Okay, there we go. Um, good, so we can uh, let's go ahead and save it okay now we have a couple of different choices for printing it if we go to the print icon here we can either print this check right now or we can print a batch of checks um, so let's go ahead and print the check now so we've created it now let's print it okay it pops up a window for print check and so it gives us the number. Now we need to put the blank, our blank checks in our printer. Make sure that the first check number uh, is the same as the number entered here. So we can hit OK. Excellent. And then that pulls up our print checks window. Um, we can choose our printer and click print. OK. And that would print the check. Excellent. So, But I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I want to show you another way to print checks. The other way to print checks is to print them in a batch. So now that we've selected to print a batch, it's going to bring up and list all of the checks we've created that are waiting to be printed. So for right now, it's just the one check to California Telephone. But we could print, we could create multiple checks and then print them all at one time. So let's go ahead and cancel it. Let's not print it yet. Let's just leave it sitting there in the queue waiting to print. Okay, so we've already saved this. Go ahead and click save and close. Make sure it's saved. Okay, so that's how we write checks directly for expenses. The other place we're going to write checks is by paying bills. And so this is kind of the normal flow for expenses. So if we first enter the bill when we receive it and then we pay the bill. So let's pay bills and this is going to bring us up a list of bills that we want to pay. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's pay this Larson peripheral. So the bill's already been entered. All we're going to do is write a check for 2063. So we click, and we can click as many as we want. Actually, let's, let's click a couple of them. Okay, so we're going to write a couple of checks here. Okay, payment date for these checks. Method is check. Let's say we are going to uh, have this uh, checks uh, the number to be printed. Um, so this this will choose the number when we uh, print the checks and it's going to come from the checking account. Okay so let's hit pay selected bills and that's going to create those however many what do we do select two checks. Excellent so that created two checks and now we can either print checks or we can go back and pay more bills. So you may have to, if you're paying bills from separate checking accounts, then you may have to go through that process a couple times. Um, so we could hit print checks here. 
And this brings up our queue for checks to be printed. So not only do the two checks show up now that we just created, but also the California telephone check, which we had created in a separate step. Okay, so we now have three checks waiting to print. Uh, we could we could make sure this is our correct first check number, agrees with the check stubs that we're putting in the, the printer, and click OK. And that would let uh, us print those checks. But I want to show you one other place we can choose to print them. So perhaps you kind of just go all day long with creating checks, paying bills, going about your bookkeeping business, and then at the end of the day, you just need to print whatever checks have been created. You can get to that print checks box right here from your dashboard in the banking activity, print checks. Okay, and there are the three checks. So one thing that could be confusing, I could see users just immediately going at the beginning of the day to the print checks function here and nothing shows up and they don't know how to print checks. Well, you first need to create the checks, right? And that's either with the write checks function or with the pay bills function. Once the checks are created, then you can either print them immediately when you create them or you can accumulate them in this print queue and then go to print checks and here they are. So. Make sure your first check number agrees with what you're putting in your printer. Click OK. OK, choose your printer. And then click Print. OK, I'm not going to. I don't want to waste any paper today. Um, but that's all there is to printing checks in QuickBooks Desktop. Hope this was helpful and you have a nice day.